The group of people in a park President Donald Trump share a fist bump with Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe as they play golf at the Keisumagasiki Country Club north of Tokyo. Japan on November 5, 2017. Asian heads of state can't seem to stop rolling out the red carpet for President Donald Trump on his first official visit to the region. From golf and hamburgers to sampling soy sauce, older than the United States, and an exclusive dinner in the Forbidden City. Donald and Melania Trump have gotten the royal treatment as they power through Asia, even as Trump's domestic approval ratings remain mired in historic lows. Don, in lieu of setting major policy goals, the leaders of Japan. South Korea and China have opted to cement their personal ties with the impetuous U.S. president. Their hospitality one-upmanship has featured as much pomp and circumstance as possible for visits that have lasted no longer than 72 hours. Here's a look at how the first couple are being wooed on their Indo-Pacific trip. Japan sets a bar high for wooing Trump. Trump arrived channeling Top Gun. He wore a flight jacket and greeted American service members at the hangar on the Yokoden Air Base. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe welcomed him to the Keisumagasiki Country Club where they joined professional golfer Hideki Matsuyama for a round on the green and pounded fist bumps. Tape reportedly took a no holds barred approach to flattery on the course. When you play golf with someone not just once, but for two times, the person must be your favorite guy, Abe told reporters. Trump famously proclaimed during his 1990 trip that he did not want tough, ing raw fish. So Abe, the ever gracious host, made sure to appease his guest's palate serving hamburgers before the leaders signed hats emblazoned in gold ink. They read, Donald and Shinzo make reliance even greater. Dot on the second day of his two-day visit, Trump began by settling an old score. In 1990, he had tried to meet with Japanese Emperor Akihito but found his request rebuffed by a long wait list, according to the book Lost Tycoon The Many Lives of Donald J. Trump. This time, the emperor not only met the Trumps, but personally escorted them around the Imperial Palace. Trump then joined Abe for an ostentatious under guard show before a working lunch that culminated in the now viral koi feeding party. Closing out the trip was a state dinner attended by internet sensation Pico Taro, of Pineapple Pineapple Pin fame. The one on one attention Abe showered on Trump was notable even by the standards of presidential visits. The leaders shared four meals over two days compared to Obama's two dinners in 2014 during a diplomatic trip that was designated as a higher-level state affair, Nikkei Asia Review observes. I don't think we've ever been closer to Japan than we are right now, Trump later told reporters. South Korean appeals to Trump's heart, and stomach the world watched with bated breath and fears of an impulsive tweet as Trump touched down in South Korea. The front line of the nuclear standoff with Pyongyang. Trump is the first president to make a high level state visit to South Korea in more than three decades, according to the State Department. He was welcomed with flag waving children, a military marching band, and an honor guard 300 strong. He also shared a cringe worthy awkward kiss with Melania on the tarmac. Not to be outdone by Abe, South Korean President Moon Jae in layered on the effusive praise telling Trump he was making great progress on making America great again. There is a special bond forged between President Trump and myself which I find very meaningful and damn grateful to be part of, Moon said. In case flattery faltered, Moon had gastronomic delights up his sleeve. Trump, known to be a picky eater who favors well-cooked steaks, once declared that state dinners are wasteful and expensive. The menu at his dinner in Seoul was nevertheless loaded with Korean delicacies. In addition to serving soul from President Moon's hometown and shrimp from disputing waters, the highlight was grilled Korean beef rib cooked with a 360-year-old soy sauce, according to CNBC after bait weather prevented an impromptu tour of the demilitarized zone that marks the border with North Korea. Trump addressed lawmakers at the National Assembly where he had tough words for Pyongyang. He was applauded no fewer than 20 times and given a standing ovation. China goes big for Trump if Japan was fun-filled and South Korea's AC, then China welcomed its honored guest with magnificent, over-the-top opulence. China's ambassador to the U.S. called Trump's trip a state visit plus, a designation that anticipated the ego massaging in store. The gilded visit began with a lavish ceremony before the Trumps were escorted into the Forbidden City, the imperial palace from the Ming and Qing dynasties. They were met by President Xi Jinping and his wife Ping Li Yuan in matching gray jackets and together they toured the UNESCO World Age.